Hello guys, Brian here again with a fragrance review. And today I want to look at a fragrance from the house of Michael Malul. This one is called Jawa de V. And I got this as part of a discovery set from Michael Malul. You can get uh, a bunch of samples. I think there's 12 samples for about $10, $11. Basically to cover the cost of shipping. So an amazing deal for reviewers like myself that want to try a lot of fragrances without spending a lot of money. And this came out in 2019. And it is a woman's fragrance, so I figured since it's Saturday, my day off, I'll go ahead and uh, do a video review on a woman's fragrance. Um, top notes for this one are Lotus, Mandarin Orange, and Apple Blossom. Middle notes are Violet, Magnolia, and Jasmine. And in the base, we have Woody Notes and Musk. So this is basically just a single wearing impression. I just put this one on maybe like 20 minutes ago. And it's a pretty nice woman's fragrance. Um... It is very floral, which would be expected from the magnolia, the violet, jasmine, and the lotus, and even the apple blossom, which is a floral note too. So it comes across as a bit of a sweet white floral, and uh, you do pick up a little bit of apple and orange in there as well. So it's a nice uh, a woman's fragrance and a nice introduction to the uh, to the line for me uh, as a woman's fragrance. Probably not something that I would wear personally, but I certainly wouldn't mind smelling this on my wife or other co-workers. It's pretty nice. Uh, a solid start. Uh, let's get into some scores here. The smell, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. I'm not a huge fan of like the white floral um, genre of fragrances, but I think uh, Michael Malou did a pretty good job with this one by adding a little bit of that sweet apple and orange in there to sort of make it a bit fruitier and to take some of the uh, emphasis off of the white floral and add a touch of the fruit as well um, it's not super sweet so this one would be good for older ladies not i mean like maybe like you know, working class business ladies um usually when i think of white florals i think of like working class ladies with like the pantsuit power uh management type thing and this would be good for that um Pretty much any woman in the workforce could wear this one without too much problem. It's not a real powerhouse either. It's just a light, sort of subtle, close to skin scent. So I'll say, you know, projection longevity, 7 out of 10. I'm going to say maybe 4 to 6 hours to be expected on this one. It's not real strong. So I'm not sure if it'll last a whole day. At least not enough for others besides yourself to pick up on it. Versatility, this would be great for spring and summer. But you could wear it year-round. Um, a little bit of sweetness in there. Uh, it might not project quite as well in the cold weather, but certainly in spring and summer, uh, this could be a real workhorse for you. Uniqueness. Now, with women's fragrances, it's tricky for me to gauge uniqueness because I don't focus as much on my channel on women's fragrances. But you can see there are some nice um, unique touches here with the apple blossom mingling with the orange and the magnolia. So, yeah, I'm going to say 7 out of 10 for that uh, category of uniqueness. Now the Michael Malou fragrances, uh, 100 ml cost about $89.95. Maybe you can get a discount code somewhere, save a few bucks, but uh, sort of upper end designer pricing. I'm not really sure if you consider this a niche indie or designer type fragrance. It kind of has like that designer smell to it though. So uh, use your own um, knowledge and discretion when it comes to price point on this whether or not you want to spend ninety dollars for this fragrance for me though seven out of ten sounds pretty fair a nice pleasant uh white floral with some nice fruity touches in there not too sweet uh that it's gonna smell like candy the florals come out the fruits come out it smells kind of natural and pleasant so yeah uh Dui de v from michael malou a nice woman's fragrance with white florals and some fruits in there. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.